Hey, what's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. I'm gonna show you how to use the solo safe function in Pro Tools 8. Now, solo safe is great when you're mixing. If you wanna solo your audio track and also hear your effect on your auxiliary track, they stay together so you can mix them together perfectly as opposed to regular solo where it cuts off your effect. So to solo safe a track, you go to the S, the solo, hold command and click on it. And the S grays out, which is showing you that that track is solo safed. So a reason why you, you might want to solo save something is because for, for this case, if you have an audio file and you're sending it to an effect, which is a reverb in this case, that audio file, when you solo it, it's going to cut off the reverb. It's going to mute it. So if you're mixing, this is real bad because you're not going to get the full effect of what that audio file is actually going to be in your final product with your reverb. So you solo safe the, the reverb, so in this way when you solo your audio, the reverb stays with it so you know exactly how that track's going to sound. So let's just show, I'll show you when I solo it without solo safe what happens. So as you can see, my reverb was cut right off and if I'm mixing that that's going to be real bad I'm not, I'm not going to be able to know what, what that track is really going to sound like so what you do is you solo safe your your aux your effect track and now I'll play it back and when I solo my audio file the the effect is going to be so uh, playing with it as well You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at wingsound.com.